We're here. Hi guys. Happy Wednesday. We did an arm workout on Monday, so I promised you legs and core today. So grab some water. Um, we're starting a little bit late because I had a meeting, so I'm going to give you guys time to get here. I'll wait till I see some names and then we'll get going. So I'm going to get some water. You Also, we have step ups today. If you've got something that you can step up onto, bring it with you. If you don't, no big deal. I will provide some alternate moves um, for step ups. So gather a box or a step or a chair if you have it. If not, I got gotcha. you. Come on, Maddie. Hi, Jen. Gotta do it later, okay. Okay, okay. Who else is here? Let's do a little roll call. Sorry about the lawn mower. It's at my neighbor's house. I hope it's not too loud or distracting for you. Who's there? Renza, hey. We'll get going here in just a sec. Uh, Sharon, hi. Come on in, friends. I got the workout ready. I owe you some legs and abs, right? Get ready to work that. Okay, so I said at the very beginning and in the comments, try, if you've got a step up box or a chair, go ahead and bring that around so that you can use it um, for step ups. If you don't have anything around, it's okay. I'll give you something else that you can do. This workout is great for uh, the running program, um, specifically to strengthen the legs and the core. Um, which are very important players in having a strong uh, running body. So we'll get that going. All right, here we go. Okay, man, meeting was good. All about the loans and stuff. And there's, it's just so much red tape, you know, that's how it's gonna be, but I'm grateful for it. All right, yeah, have weights close by. Weights are optional. Um, leg work, let's talk about it. So leg work um, is great to do with body weight. You still get a great cardio exercise um, when doing a leg day. If you're wanting to build strength, then definitely have some weights close by. If you are planning on running later today or tomorrow and you don't want to be sore, then um, maybe just do body weight or fewer rounds. So we'll talk about that too. I'm gonna get us started on the warm up, and I'll walk us through a couple different suggestions depending on um, your fitness level and how you want to feel the rest of the week. So um, let's start with just 10 body weight squats. So today we've got two circuits. We're gonna do um, a leg circuit and then an arm circuit, not arm, core. Sorry. It's up to you and how hard you want to work and also what you want out of your workout, how many times you go through. So I'm going to suggest two. Uh, let's front lunge, side lunge, back lunge three times. I'm going to suggest two. Um, I will do three. So it's two rounds if you're planning on running later today or tomorrow and you don't want to feel super sore. If you're not running at all or not tomorrow, then you could go through three rounds. I'm going to do three just so people who want to do three switch legs have company to do it. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So, or if you don't mind running sore, or you're walking, then you can do three rounds too. Okay, a couple big shoulder rolls. Another option is to maybe do the first round holding the weights and the second round without. You don't have to do the whole workout holding 
weights. Hi, Jenny. So hopefully that explains, uh, answers your question. All right. Um, we will get started. Have your weights close by. So the first round, we've got six leg moves. Um, so it's pretty high volume on the legs. So it's completely understandable if you don't wanna use weights or don't wanna use weights for every round. So one time through if you're a very, very beginner. Um, two times through if you have been doing fitness and weight workouts for a little bit longer. You don't regularly get sore after workouts anymore or you don't want to be sore for a run later today or tomorrow. Three times through if you have been working out for a long time, you're not concerned about feeling sore tomorrow or later um, and you want a good strength workout, okay? Hopefully that answers those questions. We'll get started here. Will you turn the AC on, please? It's gonna be a hot one today. I had to ask for the fan to be on. All right, so um, the way that we'll do it, we're gonna go through the six moves, 15 reps of each. When we get done with all six, we'll take a break and uh, pause for about a minute to 90 seconds and just have a little chit chat at the camera and then we'll go back to the top and go through again. We'll get through it three times. Okay, first move is front squat. So you're gonna hold the weights in front of your chest. You can either hold one weight right in front or one in each hand. Then we're gonna squat down, try to get your elbows to your knees. So here we go, feet at hip distance apart, squat down, Exhale to stand. Two, three. My goal is to make it two rounds with weights and the last round without. Six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale as you press up, squeeze the butts at the top. Five, four, weights at your shoulders. Three, Two, last one, and rest. Keep your weights in your hands if you're using them. If you don't have a step, you're gonna take a big lunge backwards and press up to a balance. So reverse lunge to a knee up. If you do have a step, we're gonna step up onto the step and step down. So weight in each hand, 15 on each leg, here we go, I haven't done step ups in a long time. Up, tap the toe, come down. So let's keep the right foot on the box. Stand all the way up, tap the left foot, and then lower back down. Four, five, six, seven. Good, press those hips forward at the top. Five more on this leg. Four. Three. Two. And one. Switch legs. Keep doing the lunge or switch feet on the box. Here we go. Up. deadlifts. We'll do straight legs since we don't have barbells. So a little bend in the knees, 
And then it's a big shift back with your hips. Bring the weights down to about your knees or your shins. Press forward, here we go. 15. Try to keep your shoulder blades squeezed together at the back. Your chest is lifted just like a half lift. In yoga, I know several of you are Yoga with Adrian fans. Five to go. Three, two, and one. All right, set one weight down. I gotta move the box out of my way. We're doing side lunges. So this can be done with or without a weight. Big step to the side, reach down with the opposite hand and press up. So weight can be, let's say I'm step with my left foot, reach down with the right, press back. Reach and press. Look from the side how much my hips go back and that protects your low back. So just like those deadlifts, it's a big hip hinge. Here we go. And remember, you guys, if any of this doesn't feel right, I can't see you in the moment, but message me, let me know after class, and I'm more than happy to kind of troubleshoot it with you. So here we go. 15 on the left, 15 on the right, three. I'll just have you film yourself and send it to me. We can do a FaceTime or a Zoom to figure it out. Don't want any kind of pain or tweaking of the body. Nine. Thirteen, two more. 14, 15, all right, switch legs, big step, other side, come up. I love um, the stretch that that standing leg gets on this one. Think about that instead of the work of that moving leg. There's five. Eight. Good, keep breathing. Five to go. I'm not a very good counter. Don't know how many times you've noticed that. Three, two, at least now you know it's not just in class. One, set your weights down. No weights for this next move. This one is a little bit of plyo. Hi, Nicole. This would be a great one to do after speed work. So you're gonna squat down and jump and then run back backwards to your starting point. So we're working on explosive power for running and also a little bit of kind of tendon and ligament protection with that backwards run. We'll do 15 times, so big jump forward, couple steps to get back to start. Jump, step, okay? Here we go. Tiny, tiny steps back. Six. If you don't like the jumping, here's what we'll do. A monster walk. So you'll be down in your squat, walk, and then backwards. Stand up in between each for a little break. If the jumping's good, then keep it up. Whoop. Here we go. I think I got six to go. Three. All right, 
rest. Okay, last move, pretty simple. Grab your weights. It's calf raises. So we'll just raise up on our toes and lower back down. 15 on each side. Six. Five more. Feel it burn a little. Three, two, one. All right, here's our rest. So take a quick break, grab a drink. That's the first circuit. Let's definitely try to do it one more time. Two more. Uh, is what I'll do, but you can skip ahead or just wait till we start core. Okay, got a little sweaty. How you guys doing? I see that most of you are tracking your quarantine game stuff. That's awesome. We'll do a drawing Monday morning for the gift card. And then we'll start all over for next week. All right. We'll go back to those front squats uh, right here. If you need to stop using weights, you can stop with the weights for this round. If you wanna keep going, try one more time with them. Here we go. Feet about hip distance apart. Squat down, press up, squeeze the glutes at the top. You can hold one or two weights in front here, depending on what you've got at home. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fifteen. All right, step ups are next. Step ups or those reverse lunges. 15 on each side. Oh, Frankie likes to do the bounce. That's a level up, having to hold a little baby while you do your jumps and your backwards runs. Okay, time for step ups. Right foot on the box. Here we go. Press all the way up to the top. Once we get back to that running backwards move, I'll tell you guys a backwards running story from eighth grade. Five, 15 on each leg. Tap the box or tap the floor. If you're doing those reverse lunges. Five to go. Four. Three. Legs are shaking. Two. One. Okay, switch to the left leg. Here we go. Good, press up strong all the way to straight leg at the top. Eight. Nine. Five to go. Five. Four. Three. Last two. And last one. All right, move your box out of the way. Deadlifts are next. 15. All right, here we go. 
Base stance, slight bend in the knees, shift those hips back, come up. Three. Six. Chest is lifted, shoulder blades are squeezing together. So what you don't wanna have is those weights pull you into that rounded back. Keep your shoulder blades pulled back like you're sticking your chest out and fold down. What are we on? Three, two, one. Side lunges are next. With or without weight. 15 on each side. All right, here we go. Big step to the side. Don't forget about that little hip bump to the back. Down. Reach with the weight or the empty hand. Side lunges are excellent for runners because we move front to back so much. You know, when you're swinging your legs forward and back while you run and doing this Sideways motion helps build stabilizing hip muscles. Six to go. Six. Four. Three. Ooh, two. And one. Switch sides. Should really feel it on that side butt. Here we go, weight in the opposite hand, big step. Sink down, press strong off the moving foot. Two. Three. Feel it in that side butt. Four. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. Up next is that jumping move. One. Okay, weights down for this one. So big broad jump, couple running shuffles backwards to get back to where you started. All right, here we go. 15 times, big jump. Shuffle backwards. Two. So my story is, back in basketball days, in middle school, we used to have to run down the court, forward, and then run backwards, back. Well, guess who tripped and fell on the backwards? Me. I fell back on both my wrists, fractured them both at the same time. Had to have splints on both hands. It's great fun. Five more. So be really careful on these backward shuffles. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice jump. Did you guys know that about me? <sighs> Probably not. Unless you knew me back then. All right, last move for round two, calf raises. Here we go. 15 times. Up and down. Two, three, four, five. Squeeze the calf at the top. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Rest. Quick rest. Whew. 
We've got one more round, unless you're deciding for you that two is it for today. Totally cool. You know yourself better than anybody. So we'll wait about 30 seconds. If you're wanting to stick around for the core stuff, if this is a recording, you can skip ahead. If it's not, just sit tight and we've got a core circuit coming up next after one more time through this one. This third round for me, I'm not gonna use weight. I don't wanna be super sore for running the rest of the week. So I'm gonna take it down a notch. If you're not running, you wanna stay focused on strength building, use weight again for the third round. We ready? Who's doing three? Jenny, Sharon, Renza, you guys still there? I think our late start today, we don't have Bob. All right. When you're ready, we'll start with those front squats. So just hold your hands here and try to drive those elbows down to the knees. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, press up. Ooh, feels so good with no weights. Three, four, five, weights up, hands up, seven, eight, nine, eleven, good, keep it up, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, rest. Next up, our step ups. Trying for three. Yes. It's all you can do sometimes. Hi, Ella. All right, step ups or reverse lunges with or without weights. Here we go. 15 on each leg. Up, down. So stay controlled. Slow on the lower. Don't come crashing back down to earth. Exhale on the way up. Eight. Nine. I missed step ups. I forgot how much I love these. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Okay, switch legs. Do you guys love step ups too? I'm not kidding, they're one of my favorite moves. All right, other leg, here we go. Up, tap, slow lower down. Same thing if you're lunging. A slow reverse lunge and a strong press into that front leg to come to standing with a tap. weight on these deadlifts just because they don't feel as hard as some of the other moves. All right, here we go. 15. Exhale on the way up. Squeeze those shoulders. Two. Chest stays lifted. Five. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, set the weights down, three moves to go, we got side lunges next, I'm just going to reach with the hand instead of holding a weight in it, so just reach for the opposite foot, here we go, step, big reach to the floor, and come back up, two, Eight, keep it up. Nine. Five to go on this side. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right. Switch legs. Here we go. Big step. Press off. One. Two. hinging at the hips. So send them back like you're trying to touch the back wall with your butt. Seven. Ooh, right on that side butt. Nine. the jump and shuffle and the calf raises and we're done with the hard hard stuff all right here we go jump and shuffle top, specifically the calves, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five to go, five, four, three, two, last one, and rest. Take a big break right here before we come down to the ground. If you're ready to come down to the ground, bring a weight with you for one of the moves. We got five core moves. This, this one we'll do one time for sure, two times as a bonus. Deal? How you guys doing? You up for a core round? So for these, we're gonna do 25 reps for each move. Um, some of them will be 25 each side. Some of them will bump up to 26 total, 13 on each side, just depending on uh, how hard it is. So yes, good night, Francis. Have a good sleep. Um, you don't have to do core right now. You can come back later. Okay, 
here we go. Come on down. We're going to start with a double crunch. So, let me make sure I got this memorized before I get down there. Okay, have a weight close by. What's happening? Only one way to find out. That's right. That's a good, good attitude. And Sharon, you've called me worse things before, so I know you're really just asking for more. All right, so for the double crunch, start with your feet flat on the floor, hands behind your head like you would a traditional crunch, but then we're going to lift the knees up so they're over your hips and then pelvic tilt backwards so they're a little bit closer to your shoulders than they are out this way. So just enough to be working right there. And then we're going to tuck knees in to elbows, just like this, and only extend them back to that stopping point. So we've got 25 of these. Five. Good, tiny little movement of the hips and the shoulders. 13. And you should feel that work as you crunch in, but also as you slow the legs down and stop them as they move out. 18, 19, 20. Five to go. Four, three, Two, last one. All right, rest. Okay, next up, make sure your legs have room to be straight. We've got leg lowers. So hands can come underneath your hips for a little bit of leverage here. I'm not sure why, it just feels more comfortable to me. So give it a try. Feet are going straight up, and you're gonna very slowly lower both legs together, just until you feel your back start to lift off and then pull them back up. We've got 25 of these. That was one, my friends. Here we go. Two. Resist, resist on the way down, and then strong pull back up. So it's gonna be up to your body to decide when your legs lift up, and it's as soon as you feel that arch through your low back. Squeeze down to keep those legs slow. 13, we're past halfway. 14, 15, 16, 17. Good, seven to go. Seven, six. Use your breath. Four, three, Two, last one, and rest. Bring your feet back down to the ground. We've got penguins next. So for this one, to set up, you've got your little arch here. Pull down, so pelvic tilt backwards to engage the core here. Hands behind your head. Sit your shoulder blades up, just like a crunch. Now bring your hands towards your ankles, and you're just gonna crunch side to side. So this one, oh boy. We're going to go 25 to each side, okay? So sit, roll that pelvis back, sit your shoulder blades up, fingertips towards your ankles. One, two, three. So you just want to picture the bottom rib coming to the top of the hip on each side. There's 10. Oh boy, the more you squeeze down, the more you'll feel this through the whole core. 17, 18, I think I really have no idea. 20, 1, 2, 24, let's do two more just in case. 6, 27, oh boy, whew. <sighs> All right, we're flipping over. So our last two moves will be from a plank position but this next one, we're gonna bump up to 26. So we're just gonna do 13 on each side. 
because I'm not totally sick, Sharon, just a little bit. All right, so this one is mountain climbers, but I want us to focus more on um, a slow and controlled, like knee to chin, than it is a running mountain climber, all right? So come to the top of a plank, do the best I can on this, um, on your hands, so top of a push-up, and then we're gonna alternate, tuck the knees in, alternating, 13 on each side, two, three, Six. Don't hold your breath. Eight. Nine. Ten. Three. Two. One. Take a quick rest. I can see you people are sassing me in the comments, so I need to see. Oh no, there's no fresh stuff. Okay, the last move and then you can be done with core, or we can do it one more time, is a plank dumbbell pass through. So we're gonna be in the top of the plank in a push-up position. You want one dumbbell off to either side. So just so that we stay together and you can follow my cues, set the dumbbell to the right side of your mat. It should be just behind the right wrist. So not up by the hand, but a little bit closer to your feet and a little bit outside. So what we're gonna do here is come up into a plank, take the left hand, reach over to grab the weight, bring it to the left side, and then switch. Okay, so we're gonna alternate back and forth. This one is only 13, uh, 13 each, not 25 each. So 26 total passes or 13 times for each hand. Here we go. Then we'll take a quick rest. We'll go back to the top if you want. All right, three, two, one. I know we've got nothing else to do, you guys. So that's two. Try to hold your hips steady. As you shift your weight from hand to hand, there's five. just legs and no arms it's gonna be tough <laughs> Sharon says that there is sass just not typed out in the comments Sharon I think you're the only one left you want to go through it again I'm sure Joanna is still here when she does it later and Nicole all right I'm gonna go through it one more time if you want to come with me that's great if not, I don't blame you one bit. Okay, double crunch and then leg lowers. Oh, Tiff, where did you come from? Hi, I haven't seen you. I didn't see your name pop up earlier. So, way to go. Okay. The rest died, that's true. I'm about to as well. All right, I'm coming down for one more. Let's go back to those double crunches. We'll see how this goes. We may need to cut it down to 15 reps. I definitely feel the burn. Okay, so pull your hips back, elbows up, tuck in together, and just a little bit to open. Two. Rock your hips back. 
Ten to go. I like a little pelvic tilt. Eight. Four, three, two, last one, and rest. Make sure you've got room to do uh, leg lowers. Here we go, 25. Ugh. Hands under your wrists if you prefer that. Legs up, and we're down. Up. Slow lower down. Two, three, four, five. Stay with it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, guys. I always think it's so funny because I'm cheering for you and I have no idea if you're just laying on the floor or if you're working through it with me. We got 10 to go. Either way, I'm glad you're there on the other side. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, ten. Go ahead, let those feet come down. Got penguins next. So rock the pelvis backwards. So you're locked in here. Shoulder blades come up like a crunch, and then we reach. So this is 25 each. Three, so count every two taps. Counts as one, seven. And the more you squeeze down, the more this will work. There's 10, I think. 11. Bottom rib to top of the hip. So really bend through the waist. 15. 10 to go. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Don't hold your breath. 3. 2. 1. Rest. Whew. Okay, two moves left. Mountain climbers, 13 on each side, nice and slow. Okay. Top of the push up, little pause at the top as that knee tucks up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep your hips lifted, press into your hands. There's one, two, three. And three to go. Three, two, one. Rest. Last move. We got that dumbbell pass through. 13 each side. So bring the dumbbell to the right side. Just lower into the outside of the right hand. Take a couple deep breaths. This is it. Then we're going to be done. I'm not going to trick you into a round three. Save that for next time. Okay, back to your tall plank. Remember, we reach underneath with the opposite hand to bring the weight over. So left hand reaches, set it down, then the right. That's one. Two. Try not to shift through your hips too much. Press strong into your hands. Four, less than 10 to go. Seven, we're past halfway. Eight, nine, nine. Good, just three to go. Three, two, last one. And bring it back. Good, come down to your knees. Press into child's pose. 
Take a couple of deep breaths. Whew, you did it. Stay down there. I'm gonna bring you down closer to me. Oh, nice job. Ouch is right. I'm glad you liked it. Couple deep breaths. Rest in your child's pose. Use um, slower exhales to help you bring your system down. Deregulate, come back into uh, resting sympathetic heart rate. Nice job. I am going to let you decide how is best to stretch for you. Maybe you just need to lay here in child's pose for a little bit. Maybe you wanna roll onto your back for a while, um, but just see if you can intuitively stretch and see what feels good to you. And then find two to three points of gratitude for today. And I'll see you guys Friday. Have a great rest of your week.